A new study from the nonpartisan group Next10 and the Pacific Institute finds the state's drive for drinkable water may actually be increasing greenhouse gas emissions in the future. The study examined the connection between water use and power. It takes a tremendous amount of energy, it turns out, to collect, to produce, to treat, to distribute, and to use the water that we use. Droughts fed by climate change will likely increase local pressure to tap into new water resources, but two San Diego strategies, desalination and treatment of used water, both carry high energy price tags. Reducing the demand for water is key. Water conservation and efficiency can help us meet not only our water goals, but our energy and our climate goals. Um, and there are many things that we can be doing in our homes, in our businesses, and in agriculture to help advance efficiency. Cooley says conservation has helped keep water demand from growing, even as the state's population has gotten bigger. She says cutting outdoor water use is also important. We spend a tremendous amount of water irrigating our landscapes, in many cases irrigating very water-intensive lawns, for example. We have tremendous opportunities now to be moving away from lawn and putting in low water use plants. The report also recommends using renewable power to ease the climate impact of using energy to generate or move water. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.